Welcome to the Superhero Post Show, where we talk all things Marvel, DC, and Star Wars. And before you do anything, please like and subscribe. So today we will be talking about Loki, obviously a quick episode review. So um, I obviously didn't live stream. I did wake up a little bit late, woke up around 3.15. So I didn't live stream, but I did watch the episode. And I mean, there, there were so many things to take away from this episode. I mean, it was number one so far, episode two. I mean, they're revealing so much, and I love that. I, I <clears throat> As a lot of you know, I am not a slow burn type of a guy. I like getting everything like early and then building up off of that. And so I'm glad that they're doing that. And so if you guys don't know, we did get Lady Loki. We got Lady Loki. And um, a lot of people, obviously there were a lot of rumors and it was basically confirmed that we were getting Lady Loki. So, I mean, it wasn't a big surprise, but I was happy that we got her this uh, this quickly in, in the show. Um, and her coming really raised a lot of questions for me and i do have a lot of questions you know um i am personally trying to figure out what her motive is what is what what is the reason of of her motive and i, I kind of slept on it because i was going to record after but I, I was like let me sleep on it thinking you know i really am thinking that she's working either with king the king the conqueror or another timekeeper you know so my my theory kind of is that she's working with another timekeeper to take out the other two timekeepers. I think she's in cahoots with somebody. And if it was somebody, I would think, you know, personally, I think it's kind of I'm thinking it's Kane the Conqueror. Uh, I, I think she has ties with Kang and they're trying to take out the other uh, the other timekeepers and and uh, end up, you know, having their own thing going on. You know, I I really don't see a reason for her to be in the show if it's not her. In cahoots with a timekeeper because Loki literally said to her, I want to overthrow the timekeepers. And she did said, that's not my motive. I don't want to do that. So then what is it? You know what I mean? So, I mean, there's just so many questions to what she wants, why she's there, why she's doing this. And obviously, um, but anyways, yeah, that's just my, this is my question and theory about that. But obviously, I mean, the, this show is really Loki still trying to obviously gain trust with the other um tva is like obviously this is not i mean come on we we, we all knew that that wasn't the trust isn't going to be earned he is a variant they gave him a jacket on the back it says variant i, I need that jacket by, by the way and i mean uh it loki was doing research he was <clears throat> trying to figure out where where this other loki is and i love seeing De detective loki i love seeing loki dig through stuff and find it you know like this gives loki a kind of like a, a refresher to the character but it also is a like it's like a uh like a rebrand of Loki, you know, because obviously we've all we've all seen Loki be the cocky, the stab in the back, which he still is, he still is that. But seeing this <clears throat> newer uh me seeing Loki operate within the confines of a police type of um environment is really awesome to see. And uh I love how Loki hasn't like matured yet. It's like we're still seeing like a young Loki, like you know, still trying, still trying to figure it out. And obviously Loki read up on on the death of Asgard, seeing his reaction to that, and him figuring out that um lo basically Loki is the other Loki is hanging out in like in basically timelines where the world's about to end because it whatever she does, it it, it doesn't change the course of its end. So it's not so they're not getting notified, which was a really good uh which was a really good point to see. And so stuff like that was really cool how they're defining time and you know how that goes along um my only question as i said is what is lady loki's motive I, I just don't know i don't know like obviously uh she just she she just started a bunch of crap you know with freaking having all these nexus events and all this stuff going on but what is her purpose of that and a question that popped in my mind because obviously scarlet witch is supposed to be a nexus being does this have something to do with her does this have something to do with what's going to happen in Doctor Strange? You know, like, is this a part of that um, particular problem? What if the TVA gets freaking destroyed or gets overrun or overthrown? And then they and then the timekeeper's last resort is Doctor Strange, which leads to the multiverse of madness. What if this is the start of the multiverse of madness? Like, what if because basically um, she has a bunch of these, like, uh, it's like a grenade filled with like a bunch of clouds. It's like, it's, it's, it's basically like a, like, like a reset bomb. You know what I mean? So if a time, if a time like is jacked up, they'll use a reset bomb, which will reset the whole thing. So she basically collected a bunch of reset bombs and, or grenades, whatever, and put them and they got dropped into a bunch of other, uh, timelines and all these Nexus events started happening. 
And so uh, basically, this is creating a crazy amount of, of other events that weren't supposed to happen. And I think she's doing it to get the timekeeper's attention because now the, the, the TVA can't fix this. This is this is a super crazy situation. So now the timekeepers have to come out of where they are and fix this whole thing because this is t- the, the, the TVA can't solve this. The time variance authority, like they can't solve this. This has to be uh, the timekeepers coming out and fixing this, fixing this problem. So I'm just, and, but my question is what are going to be the after effects, you know, because I do think that the mutants are coming from this. Uh, I think we're getting a hint to the mutants from this side. And because I think that there are other different, like what if the mutants are a Nexus event? What if they are a Nexus event? What if they get merged into our timeline? You know, I just don't know. It's just so freaking confusing to me. I'm just so confused, but uh, the more I figure out, the more I'm going to record videos and talk about it. Okay. And, and if you, and so, yeah, it's, this show has my mind going like a thousand different places, but that's also a good thing. It is a good thing that we are getting a show that's confusing us. That's making us think once or twice because we need to sort out these thoughts. So when I sort out more thoughts, I'm, I'm going to record and I'm going to, and I'm going to probably drop an exp, explanation video on, on Nexus events and telling you what, what that is. Cause there are Nexus being in Scarlet Witch is technically a Nexus being, so that's why I, that's why I have some fears about her because she might have something to do with this whole thing. So, but as I said, the more information I get, the more I'll record. So thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. As I said, may you please like and subscribe and show some love. Peace out.